Hey guys, so today I'm in Breckenridge, Colorado, and guess what? Today, well, today and after tomorrow, I am totally gonna redeem myself. <laughs> And I say I'm gonna redeem myself if you guys have seen my um, filming location video for Dumb and Dumber at the Stanley Hotel you know very well that I had the wrong set of stairs so we are right now my boyfriend and I this is our one-year anniversary it's also Valentine's Day weekend so we're here for that um, but I want to redeem myself because like I was saying wrong set of stairs um, right now we're in Breckenridge Colorado where they filmed another scene of film um, of Dumb and Dumber. And I think I mentioned before that I wanted to come here eventually and show you guys where what street they filmed on. And then after tomorrow, we're going back to the Stanley Hotel. So hence why well, I'm going to redeem myself. <laughs> hey guys, so right now I'm in the corner of Ski Hill Road and Main Street. And this is where they filmed the Aspen scenes. Like the very first time they arrived in Aspen, they arrived right here in Breckenridge, Colorado. And that is the main road that they are seen coming down the hill. So they're seen down coming down this hill right here. And as they make their way up to the light, you'll notice this town square mall on the left. Eventually, they keep going and they stopped over here. Um, I would say right about the fourth pole, so that one, because you do see the door. I'm gonna try to make my way over there now that no one's around. Um, here, I'll show you guys a little bit the town. Basically, they come over this way and they park their car, Jeez. or not the car, but that little moped thing, uh, right about, let's see, so if you count these, one, two, three, four, about this one, I think, this is where about they stop, because you'll see the door, and eventually, you know, I think when they get, when they stay right here, they say something like, we're there. And then eventually they get up and they're stuck together and they fall. And I think they would fall right about, right about here. So here's a closer look again. This is where it would be right about where they stop. Woo, I just tripped down. Um, so yeah, so you'll see this pole, like I said, the doors. And then the next scene cuts to another side, which will be over here to the right-hand side. I gotta walk my way over. But how cool. This would've been the spot where they fell, like right about here. All right. The next scene takes place right in front of here. This is when Harry and Lloyd start walking and the talk, um, Harry, I think, asks if he wants to get something to eat. And he's like, no, I swallowed a big June bug. I'm not that hungry. That's that whole scene. There's a lot of snow on the ground. So um, it starts right here. We're seen walking this way. notice all these stores as they're walking and they're walking this way 
What more could two single guys ask for? How about some food? Mm, I swallowed a big June bug when we were driving. I'm not really hungry. Eventually the camera pans over and they're seen right here. They stop right about here when they see that attractive couple. And that's when, you know, that funny comment is made. Oh, geez, look at the butt on that. that the camera kind of pans back to this side. And you do see that shirt off my back, right back there. That's kind of where the couple would have been when the camera turns around and shows, you know, them walking away. Yeah. He must work out. <laughs> All right, so the next scene takes place on this corner over here. So eventually the camera turns back around, which I'm gonna have to do this myself. And it keeps going this way. And this would be where the payphone scene took place. The payphone would have been right where those trash bins would have been because you do notice that welcome center in the background. The colors have changed though since they filmed and none of these trees were there which is nice that you know there's no leaves on them or anything because they're not as visible but this would have been the shot. Why don't we get busy and deliver the briefcase to Mary? If I know her as well as I think I do she'll invite us right, right here they would have stopped to use the phone and he's like you know, they're looking for our address and he's like, slammy, slippy, slappy, Swanson. Uh, look in the briefcase, look in the briefcase. Samsonite. And then you know the rest. But as the cam, as they're using the phone, the camera pans this way. And I'm guessing it would have been right here. Um, so the camera pans from this side to this side as, as Lloyd is talking the camera is seen this way and then kind of turns over a little bit this side too as Lloyd is, uh, Harry is talking. So here we are arriving at the Stanley Hotel which we were so excited to come back. Um, there was music playing in the background so this is why I'm doing a little voiceover but um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my mistakes from last year and correct them. Hey guys, so now we're at the Stanley Hotel and as you remember I was here about a year ago. Um, <laughs> what can I say? I had the wrong set of stairs because you can stay either here at the Stanley or at the Lodge and then there's another hotel in the same um, property. Um, so I walked over to the Lodge and I thought that those stairs were the right ones but they're not. They're the ones here at the Stanley. Um, I can show you guys around again if you like, because why not? So right now I'm walking down the famous stairs where Lloyd is handing out tips. Here you go, here you go. He would have been standing right over here. But this is where the Lamborghini would have pulled up, um, more or less um, closer to the stairs. Um, you would have seen a Lamborghini right about there or so. You know, he gets off with those funky boots on and then uh, they walk inside. And then the other scenes that take place in here are the stairs. Two scenes, two separate scenes. One as he's walking down his outfit, going to meet up with Mary. Then the other scene is inside of the bar here that has been remodeled. And I showed you guys the bar last year. If there's no one in there now, I'll go in there. And then the last scene would be him and Mary race up the stairs. So I'll bring you guys inside. So here's a look. Let me, let me back up as much as I can. As you can see, we got a lot of snow yesterday. It is actually negative 16 right now. It is crazy cold. Here you go. Uh, Um, 
we tried to get a ghost tour for tonight and fortunately it's sold out. Um, as you know, this is also the inspiration for The Shining. Stephen King stayed here in room 217, which I showed you guys in my video. So if you haven't seen my last year's video, even though I had the wrong stairs, <laughs> you can go check that out. Like right about here, he would have been standing. Um, let's bring you guys inside. There's a lot of people here yesterday, so it was hard to make a video. And these are the stairs. <laughs> these are the stairs. Race to the top. That happened all right here. And the reason why I'm mistaken everything is because this was painted white in the movie. Um, also, the carpet is different. Oh, you're fine. Don't oh, worry. Okay. You're fine. Don't worry. I'm having a hard time breathing right now. So the first scene is when he's walking down with that goofy hat and gloves. And he kind of, you know, he's kind of strutting his stuff. And then he walks past this way. This is the front desk here. With the cool skeleton keys. And this. And then the bar, which is closed right now, it's over here. Which I showed you guys in my last video has been remodeled. Um, you can kind of see it a little bit there. If I can come back later, I'll, I'll do it. But over to the right, past the wall, you'll see the Man on the Moon sign. And then there's a picture of Jim Carrey on the other side of the wall. And the, um, Mary, which I can't think of her real name right now. The actress that played Mary. There's a picture of her on the wall too. And this bar is called Cascades. If you guys ever stay here, I definitely recommend you stopping by and grabbing a drink. And here's the lobby a little better. This is part of the ghost tour. I saw them come in here yesterday. I don't know for what. Mm. And they have a little gift shop over here. This little fireplace. Another scene when we see Mary and Lloyd come in. I don't know which direction, if it's this side or this side, but I don't know if the camera is coming from this way. I'm guessing this way. And they're seen going this way. And that's when he stops right here and says, I'll race you, and runs up. Race you to the top. And I'll give you a closer look at the stairs. So, uh, first time he trips, I would think he would trip right around here. Um, give you a perspective of how far down I am. And this is the first time he trips. And he grabs her leg right about here. She falls. And then he runs up these and celebrates right about here. Yeah! I win! And walks off this way. And that's the end of that scene. Since I didn't get to show you guys any of this last year, Oof, I cannot breathe. The altitude here is crazy. Also, because of COVID, they have 
these signs everywhere. You can't sit in any of the um, chairs out here. You can grab a drink at the bar, but you have to have a reservation to eat. And then to drink, you can uh, wait by um, the receptionist and then she'll take your order or she'll take your name and then you can grab a drink and come back out here and just kind of walk just kind of stand around i love this elevator there's like a key like the old key it's like right there i don't know if i ever showed you guys elevator before it's super dark for some reason this year i think that light's not working Here's a gift shop I was telling you guys about. Another fireplace. Couches that you cannot sit in. <laughs> Here's a music room. Billard room. And then they do these shows nightly. They've been sold out like a long time. Oh, I've never actually looked in here before. Huh pretty neat and then of course a nice piano and then you can buy some cool souvenirs here my boyfriend and I actually bought two last night um, he got this awesome um, shot glass I don't know why I couldn't think of that word and I bought that skeleton key right there, the 401. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff. The red room stuff, which, you know, spelled murder backwards. Yeah. And they got mask now for your face. Really cool stuff. These socks. Yeah. Nice looking hair. And some other stuff over here too. Right. I didn't really come in here last year. Yes. How cool is that? When did you see this last time? Yeah, we didn't get to come in here. Um, I think they were in here last year doing something and we didn't get to come in here. That's cool. Reach to the top! So would you guys say that I redeem myself, maybe? Hopefully? <laughs> I hope so. I hope that I totally did because... It was embarrassing enough <laughs> last year to be so excited over something and to put it out there and then realize after posting it to my Instagram account that, hey girl, those are not the right stairs. I'm like, man, that's embarrassing. So to be able to go back just to do that was awesome. But then on top of that, to get to go to Breckenridge, we got to stay there for two days. We got to go skiing. I got to take my first skiing class, which was awesome because last year we just went with no experience and halfway down the mountain, I had to take off my skis and walk down because I was so terrified. Ah, so yes, this whole trip has been amazing. And what else? Um, I don't think I have much to update you guys on. I think eventually I'm going to do some videos locally because to be honest with you, with COVID still out there, I don't know what's next, but um, there is some films that I can do locally. And then I also need to 
edit some other videos that I still haven't been able to edit and put those out there. So there will be some more stuff coming out. Um, just give me some time because <laughs> I'm a little slow sometimes and I have a lot going on right now. But I want to send you guys all my well wishes. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, thank you for the comments, for all the likes and comments on Instagram as well. For those of you on TikTok, thank you to you as well. I don't know how many of you have that, um, that app, but I'm also on there under filming locations. And that's about it. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for everything. And we'll talk soon. Bye.